take one. Did you just use my dirty slipper? Yeah. All right, use the clean one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll cut that. We'll cut that bit out. So don't worry. All right, um, let's start from this part. You don't have to do this. Take one. Rubbish. Right. Yes, everybody. Welcome back to Scratch Tutorial One. Uh, no, I don't want to start it. Let, let's start it. Yo, this is Bad Flex. Welcome to Tutorial. No, it's not Tutorial. It's Tutorial Two, isn't it? I did two on the other day. Yeah. Yo, this is bad. We edit all of this bit out, so don't worry. Yo, this is bad flex. Welcome to tutorial two. This is the if you didn't watch tutorial one, you need to watch it so we can follow on tutorial two. Zin, yeah, yeah, that's where we need. I'll cut that bit out. Right. Okay. So last time I told you that I was gonna get, we're gonna we're gonna look at sprites and sprites are the little characters that are involved in the scratch programming program yeah so um last time i said we were going to get um somebody or something chasing kitty around um kitty's back yes he's back by popular demand a lot a lot of people are asking about kitty and how was how kitty was doing quite funny right now so last time i showed you how to um get kitty navigating around around the, the, the board without um with, just by using the keyboard I'm gonna go back to that in a, in a short while, and so let's look at now. Let's look at Kit, um, Kitty's costume over here. We have script. That's where the code will go to get Kitty to navigate, and costumes is what Kitty will look like during the game or the program, whatever you're creating. Now, let's click on Edit here, and um, if you notice, the tools are here. So we have the paintbrush. We have the eraser and you can look at the others the fill tool and we have the select tool all right i'm going to click on my select tool and i'm going to delete kitty kitty is getting a bit too popular right now so i need to use another version so i'm going to click on import and i'm going to click on say um fantasy let's try that one i've never looked at that one before hmm, we have a dragon here all right so let's click on dragon um dragon yeah good so now I have a dragon instead of kitty right what else could I do I could do costume tool edit and let's delete kitty again we're gonna still use kitty so don't worry so all of you fans of kitty your kitty is gonna come back so import and let's do dragon B right as I said I said I was gonna use um a dog to be chasing kitty but let's do a dragon and then the dragon is gonna breathe fire on Kitty if he catches Kitty. Hmm, someone's excited. Hmm, animal cruelty. No, it's just a game. Right. So that's our sprite one. And um, this is where the script will go. So I'm gonna create a new, over here, I'm gonna paint new sprite. Um, I'm just, I'm not gonna really paint one. You can go ahead and experiment by creating your own sprite, but I'm just gonna import one. And let's go back to say um you know where should i go um blah 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 blah. let's go up one yep good and then select animals in that we can find kitty so let's look to see kitty no, no i don't like that's the, yeah like this one so this looks like an animal running or kitty running all right so that's kitty and then let's click okay i'm not gonna do a costume two for him Mm, let's just keep costume one all right so let's do kitty's script um so kitty's uh we wanted kitty to move so we're going to create navigation for kitty so i click on control and select um when space bar is pressed i'm just going to change that to say up arrow where is it up arrow um kitty is going to move say 10 steps up up let's use the y um, change by Y 10 and let's try that if it works no oh that's X rubbish um, change by Y yeah there you go yes he's moving up hmm, he's moving sideways so I'll try and so we can fix that let's do something totally new let's get Kitty to walk front ways at all times so let's take that off and put say no let's put it back no you leave it and put move 10 steps so when i press the forward 
right arrow, kitty should move forward, yep, good. And then let's do another control or two rather. There, there, and let's do motion. And let's put um, turn 15 degrees, turn 15 degrees. And if you notice, I select the other ones, the, the other direction. So I'm gonna put when left arrow, and then I'm gonna put when right arrow. So kitty will turn, so let's try that. Turn and run. It's not moving, what does that mean? I want it to go forward. Um, forward, 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 forward. So up arrow, I use the up arrow to go forward. Up arrow, forward. Yes. And I want Kitty to move really fast. So let's put say 25 and see how that works. Yes, Kitty's moving really fast. Turn, run, turn, run. Zoops, right, good. No, that's Kitty moving around. So look at the code that I've used. I've used up arrow to go forward, move 25 steps. That gets him moving really fast. I've used right arrow to get him turning. And I've used left arrow to get him turning left 15 degrees and so on. Right, so let's test that again. So left key, move forward, left key again, move forward and so on. Or I could change the other direction, run other direction run good seems fine so far now let's look at sprite one again and we're gonna put the script for him what i want for this one is i want the dragon to chase kitty and whenever he catches kitty he's gonna breathe fire on kitty so um let's look at his costume again let's go to costume one so that's this that's where our starting point is gonna be so go back to the script click on control now to get this started i want when the green flag is clicked, if you look over here, top right, you see this top button, stop everything, and you have this start flag, start green flag script. So anything that has a green flag to start, when you click the start button, it will automatically begin. Right. So what do we want the dragon to do? We want the dragon to face Kitty. So let's do um, motion and select point in direction. Uh, no, let's do point towards. But we have to say point towards what and remember kitty is sprite too so when green flag is clicked point towards um sprite two. let's click the green flag to see what will happen see you pointed towards kitty right let me move kitty in another direction go there green flag pointing towards kitty hmm. good so far <laughs> right what next do i want him to do now I want him to move towards Kitty. So let me move. Move towards our move step. Is there a move towards? No? All right, let's move 10 steps. Let's change that to one. Enter. And let's put him far off. Let's put Kitty probably up there and get, him his, get his back turned to see if it really works. Press the button, turns. He's not moving, is he? All right, what do we need to do now? Right, um, at this point, we need to use what is called a, a um, forever control. And I'll show you why we're gonna use that forever control. So if we get the forever, and bring it over here. Right, at the moment, when I double click on the green flag, if you notice the dragon is moving, slightly moving, because it's just moving one step. So if I put the forever in, he will cause the dragon will forever be moving towards kitty so if i put him down here put kitty here click on him turns once and he also moves one step also moves one step and if you notice when i double click it how, how slightly is moving i want him to move forever so back over here i get the forever and i'm gonna put it there hmm, hope that makes sense let's try that uh yes he's moving towards kitty forever See that? See that? If I move Kitty up here, he's gonna continue anywhere Kitty goes. He's gonna forever chase Kitty. Can't get tired because that's I set it for forever, right? You notice when he reaches the Kitty, he goes haywire, bizarre. Don't know the reason for that, but let's sort continue. Right. So, um, what do we what is do want him to do? Oh, you remember we had costume two. 
So I want him to change to costume 2, which is breathing the fire on Kitty whenever he's touching Kitty. Hmm, exciting now. Right, so go back to this script and I'm gonna get. Well, there's two states if he's touching Kitty and if he's not touching Kitty. If he's not touching Kitty, he should be in his costume 1. And if he's touching Kitty, he should go to his costume 2, which is the breathing fire bit. So we're gonna use that if else. That's where if condition is happening, do this. Else, if it means in, if it meaning it is not happening, then do this. So let's look for our if else. Here is if else, and I'm gonna put that um, under here. The reason why I put it under here is because I want this part to be carried out for river. And if this condition is not met, then it does does this one. So let's look at the conditions now. Let's look at um, say motion. No sensing. Because if, if he's touching kitty, that's what I want. So touching, so get it touching from sensing, touching, and put it inside that little block. So if touching, what? So this is sprite one. If he's touching sprite two, I want him to do something. I want him to change to his costume two. So let's look, looks, um, switch to costume, change to costume two. And if he's not touching kitty, I want him to switch to costume 1. So I get the same switch. Uh, but I'm going to change this bit here to costume 1. Right. So let's try that one. So let's get our kitty put in here. Let's put our dragon there. Copy it and run it. See what happens now. Hope it changes to his costume 2. Ah! He's burning kitty up. Right. That works. Right. So let's see how it goes now right so i'm gonna try now and stay i'm gonna try and stay away from the dragon so let run kitty run run he's breathing fire run 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 <laughs> run 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 i can't handle it run you're gonna die run all right turn 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 run Turn, turn, run, 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 run. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, this is exciting. I can't believe I just made this. Run, 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 run. Yes, turn, 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 turn. Ah, uh, run. Almost. All right, let's stop it before he kills Kitty. All right, that's exciting. All right, what else could I do with this now? Uh, well, I want you to experiment with it and um, experiment what what I just showed you and see what else you could come up with um, probably you could add a third sprite who knows or probably you could um, change the background color just experiment with it and um, give me a shout out and let me know send me an email let me know exactly what you did and how you have improved on this one right thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope you will actually get this one to work um, so let's review what we did firstly we looked at we created um, a new setup for kitty's navigation remember you can use any keys you wish um, somebody was saying that they, you could use the double S, double A S D keys to navigate. Whichever keys you are, you're fine using, that's okay. You can use those keys. I prefer to use the up arrow or the arrow keys. So here I'm using the up arrow to move 25 steps. You can get it to move a lot faster. Um, I'm using the right arrow so you can turn, and the left arrow to turn 15 degrees as well. Um, also, oh, yeah, I changed the kitty's costume, and you can do that by clicking on costumes and you can click on edit and then you can go to import and you can search you can change it from a kit to a bat or something else you prefer changes how it looks change the um, costume one from costume two and have a little bit of go and see how it works if you've done something very interesting give me a shout out and i would like to have a look at it um yeah that's it oh we also changed from the from we also included a dragon and um, we had um, two different states. We have the costume one and costume two. And um, whenever he's touching Kitty, whenever he's touching Kitty, um, he will change the costume to which is breathing the fire on Kitty. Uh, I'm gonna give it another go. And then um, hope you have fun watching this one. See you next week. Or when I'm doing tutorial three, you might be doing a car racing then. So um, hope to see you then. All right, have a good day. Take care. Until next time.